So this is a Visual Arts Community Art Practice Course, VA 390. We've been invited back to the Abbotsford Rec Centre and this year's proposals uh, were focused on the exterior and interior of the space that hasn't been altered from the last time we were here. There have been two projects chosen by City Hall this term. The first piece is the stained wood mural and it will be located on the outside front wall at the main entrance. The second piece is the inspirational word wall and it will be located along the inside staircase from the first floor to the indoor track, cardio and weight rooms upstairs. The City of Abbotsford also required the repair of a previous terms project located at the MRC on the awning at the front entrance. Uh, every year is completely different, every year has its own um its own dynamic that gets created within it and projects that result, hence what we're seeing here with the video. First time we've ever done a documentary <laughs> about a community art project. So again, my goal is to try and utilize students' skill sets that they have and put it to work in a way that benefits a group. Due to the nature of these two projects, the work was done outside of the scheduled time blocks and both were installed in the early morning hours to avoid any disruption of service to the patrons of both the ARC and the MRC. The main project for the summer 2014 term is the stained wood mural. The wood was set up and the image was projected onto it so the students could trace on the original image. As the wood was being sized, cut, and the surface prepared for painting, the students worked with the different stains, testing consistency and color to find the best combinations and mixtures to create the level of vibrancy that they wanted to achieve. So what we uh, were working on is a mural, and the challenge being that it had to go on a concrete wall. If you had, if you had something like the strip horizontally anchored on the wall, top and bottom, then you're only looking at maybe four anchors. Mm -hmm. Then you've got the lift off the wall, mm -hmm. and then hardware perhaps like this and hook it together some to simply slot it down onto mm -hmm. the um, the two upper and lower piece. You could take a little L thing or some kind of piece to lock as you moved along the wall. You could just lock the top one, just so, so it can't be so it can't be lifted off the whole yeah. system. Mm -hmm. Once the drawing was done. The group carefully taped off the detailed sketches of the trees on the planks of wood. The background colors were airbrushed onto the surface, carefully constructing a stunning sunset in various shades of orange, yellow, and, towards the bottom, brown. After the background was completely dry, the tape was carefully peeled off and the planks were set back up together on a wall. We're ready to paint. We've uh, removed the tape. It's ready to go. Then the numerous stain color mixtures were painted on by the group by hand. The first coat of paint was the basic design. Then, several coats were painted on to create the details, shading, and highlights of the original image. We are um, going over the sides of the boards. We're trying to sand them down uh, to take away from the green that we've got here. And then we are basically going over with this yellow, like we've got along here. Uh, sort of add to consistency. Once multiple coats were completed, the students sealed each plank with a clear coat, ensuring that the project would remain stunning and vibrant for years to come. Going good. We're on the last stretch for, for painting, then we're ready to clear coat. We want to install on Monday, so we'll probably be on our way by the end of the day. Then, the pieces were taken to the ARC and carefully mounted to the wall. It's better than what I expected. I really enjoyed it. I've been working, helping working on the stain one too, and yeah, it's just really awesome to see our ideas coming together. I didn't know what to expect, and it was a lot of fun. 
you're doing a project and you're chatting and having fun with everybody and getting to know a lot of people from a lot of different places. That's what I enjoyed mostly, I think. I think it, it actually it feels good to do something like that for the community. It's not very often you get an opportunity to have work that you do be out in public like this. So it's Perfect. just kind of rewarding, yeah. It's pretty crazy. Uh, it's changed a lot from the original, but working with the group really really helps narrow it down to what, what needs to be done the right way. I think it's going to change a lot of people's perspective walking in here. They're going to feel a lot more welcoming, I think, because people walking by right now are already mentioning, like they're showing their kids and they're having some interest in it, and you're really working with people. so. And learning how to work with different people is really important. It, yeah, no, the project went fantastic. I'm really, really happy with the results. I think um, I think it's a little bit weird thinking that we, in a way, it's weird that we actually accomplished this just because it's such a big project and it's so exciting. And I don't know, it's very exciting. And it's 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 it's, it's, it's unbelievable in a way that we have this project that is actually been this successful and and it's it's unreal man it's unreal and well I, I enjoyed the class I thought that it was great um, yeah no it was, it was it was a long road but we're here and it's great and it's exciting and yeah and yay we survived <laughs> I actually did expect um, what the project was about and everything, um, and I really enjoyed it. I thought like everyone worked great as a team, and um, yeah, I would definitely take the class again if there was another public art class being offered at UFB. Yeah, V Panda. Yeah, looks good, man. I think these guys are incredible. Coming out to put it up. That's great, and I mean, you know, enough people from campus are going here, right? It's a nice touch. I thought that was great. That's awesome, though. And then they get to, you know, they get to come to the gym and see a bit of their artwork, too. That's great. Uh, when I came an hour ago to come to my swim class, um, I was very pleased to see them beginning um, beginning work up here. I do some painting myself and um, love it when the community gets involved or however many people it takes get involved to do something like this and, um, and put something to look at, something gorgeous on on a bare wall somewhere. It's very, very nice. And uh, as, as I came out now, um, having done my exercise hour, uh, it's just more exciting to see a few more boards going up, to see the rest of them planked out in order. And I really look forward to seeing it the next time I come. So the impressions that I've gotten from being able to take this class and the whole experience have all been really good. I love the people that I've been working with and it's been a good experience just because in the future I want to get into interior design. So I can use this and um, work with clients and figuring out what they like. And also I get to see how the whole process works, like um, talking to the city and proposing ideas and then seeing how things get changed, um, the process of working together and making suggestions and evolving. Um, and it's, it's really different to see it on Photoshop compared to seeing it here. I've, I've been really excited and even like seeing people walk by and like just take a second look at it, like it's been making me really happy. And yeah, I'm really glad I got this opportunity. I think it's uh, it's a good course that gave us some really real world type experiences with um, having to present in front of uh, the board with uh, a budget and all of our supplies and everything so I got everybody thinking that way. Um, good for problem solving, lots of issues came up, some worked, some didn't, lots of good cooperation where people had to work through things. So all in all, um, I think a really good well designed course worked out well for at least for our group and for the other groups. But, our group worked well. Um, it's been fun just kind of uh, putting this all together. Everybody kind of brought their specialty to it and did what they did and, and made it all kind of come together, which is kind of cool. Um, I think it's exciting to see it up here. A um, number of people have gone by already and made comments on it. It's good. Uh, the saddest thing is that the people that walk by and will not even see it, unfortunately. Right? They'll just kind of go to the car. So hopefully it'll have enough impact that it will grab everybody's attention. And that's, um, 
going to keep all the little uh, vandals away from it. <laughs> so, but on a positive note, yeah, I think it's a good, good positive thing. Bright colors, you get to brighten up the space. Which is cool. When you have a project and you think it's going to go completely smoothly, it generally doesn't. So these students stepped up and solved whatever technical problems they needed to uh, ahead of that time. That's not bad, huh? That's pretty cool. That's yeah. very good. Hey. See, stay in, cool, stay, in stay in school, kids. <laughs> With math. Three boards, huh? Last three boards, and we run out of screws. Typical. What? A terrible accident. We ran out of screws. Technical problems are always part of the game, and uh, we're trying to solve these as we, we encounter them. So far, so good. Um, in terms of how everything kind of progressed, uh, we're on the last day of class installing the completed project. I think we're, <laughs> we're, we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Um, a lot of uh, effort on the students' part to get this done on time.